Warning, this video contains graphic images of deadly spiders doing very deadly things. If you suffer arachnophobia or are triggered by seeing deadly spiders, this video is not for you. Well, sadly and stupidly, I need to add this to this video as well. This is now the style of video where I will lose monetization on the video. YouTube is totally broken. As I said, I didn't think this was going to affect me. It's now starting to take effect on my videos. This is a crisis. I am hearing more and more stories of channels being assassinated by what's going on. And in the frantic panic to make things right, it seems like things are getting far, far worse. The most bizarre aspect to this is as the creators bleed away from the site, those fancy advertisers will have nobody to connect to, and then they'll be screaming again. This adpocalypse really has a sniff of the death of YouTube. It really does. Oh yeah, it was a great study watching the Australian Redback Spider take out this horrible bitey bitey grasshopper locusty type thing. Some people say to me, oh but Leo, they don't bite. Believe me, these brown grasshoppers have a terribly strong bite and they really, really hurt when they latch onto you. As far as I'm concerned, they're basically destructive pests. Maybe you can save your say about that. Anyway, before we get derailed about talking about these critters, if they bite or not, we saw a very different attitude from the redback spider when it was up against this very large powerful grasshopper. It took fast decisive action, used a lot of web and bit it many times and pulled this grasshopper down in basically an hour. That was a total contrast to the way the redback spider handled the large green praying mantis. And that's why the redback spider versus praying mantis videos are very important to watch. Because sometimes the redback spider will be extremely careful when it's up against a major predator. Anyway, in the bug war battle between the redback spider and this brown buddy grasshopper chicken leg thing, it was a great study to witness all the things the redback spider does to capture something to eat. And because I'm dealing with a nice uncluttered tank here, apart from a dead praying mantis laying on the bottom, I get to do a great study of the redback spider feeding after the venom has taken effect on the grasshopper so all of its insides have turned to liquid. This is shot with time-lapse video, things will seem accelerated, but watch the way the back of the redback spider swells up to a much larger size as it's doing its feeding. And in one shot I've got some fantastic footage of the redback spider's red marking on the back looking like it's in a fluid state as the redback spider gorges itself with fluid from the grasshopper. Anyway, I better cue the copyright free horror music because it's that sort of video.
always love uh, watching and studying the way the Redback Spider feeds. The Black Widow spiders would do the same. In fact, I think there are many spiders which act in this way. It seems quite horrific, doesn't it? And people will be saying, Oh, but Leo, that critter was still alive when it was being eaten. Well, welcome to the way nature really plays. You know, us humans are pretty dumb. We seem to always want to eat things which are already dead. Most of the animals and critters in nature are a bit smarter than us, and they like to eat things that are actually alive. Mind you, in some cultures, and I believe it's Asian cultures, there are some animals which are basically eaten alive. I also remember for a time on YouTube, there were a couple of YouTubers who were eating things alive for shock value. Big viral hits on YouTube, but the animal cruelty people came along and closed them down. In the info area, I'll put a link to the wiki page, which talks about critters and animals being eaten alive. And every time I watch a redback spider sucking a little critter down to zero, always reminds me of one of the all-time great classic science fiction shows from the 1970s, in particular season one, Psst, and not season two, called Space 1999. There was one episode there called Dragon's Domain. And the essence to that episode was basically a giant space spider that lured spaceships in and then zapped the crew and sucked each one of them down to zero. I think there are lots of science fiction writers who look carefully at nature to develop their stories. And I'll finish off here with a couple of stills of the spider before it is eaten, then I'll snap to the spider after it is eaten. Okay, look at that. Go back to the before, looking at that carefully, and then we'll go to after. Wow, it's got a lot bigger, hasn't it? And it just proves to you again and again and again that the Australian redback spider is totally awesome and totally deadly.